right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. This is AWF New Year's Showdown, the first Arizona Wrestling Federation events here in the year of 2023. Thank you so much for everyone who came out here tonight. We are in Glendale, Arizona at the Horny Toad. And thank you to everybody who's joined us, uh, joining us on the Arizona Wrestling Federation YouTube account and ArizonaWrestlingFederation.com. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. Officially, the paywall is down. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I don't know how many more times I can fit in, ladies and gentlemen, but we are underway with tonight's opening contest. It is a triple threat match with Aiden Colt, you see, in the purple short tights with white trim and white knee pads and boots. His opponent's youngsters, Cosmo Orion with the black tights with yellow, red, and pink trim. And then a sort of spider webbed maroon and gold, a la perhaps uh, some uh, school up university up the road who may associate with a certain mascot named Sparky. That is Gimo Kaminari with the red and black two-tones hair. That's how you can uh, see him welcoming Aiden Colton to the ring. We are underway, by the way. This triple threat has commenced. I'm not quite sure what Aiden Colt's doing on the outside. Um, so you're right there, you see uh, Cosmo Orion. Cosmo Orion and Gimo Kaminari both making their AWF debuts here tonight in this triple threat match. And here we go, the action's underway. This, of course, is a triple threat that will be fought under single falls rules. So the first man to gain a pinfall, submission, or technical knockout victory will become the victor. Also, if a, any of the competitors were to, um, well, I guess there is no disqualification here in this triple threat. Oh, nice maneuver by Gmo Cabanari. Wait a minute, Aiden Colt now. Trying to take advantage, going for another cover on Cosmo Orion, but just a two count, I believe. Aiden Colt welcoming us to the jungle here in uh, Glendale, Arizona. All right, two youngsters set again to do battle, and Aiden Colt has again left the ringside area for uh, uh, seemingly the moment. Leaving these two to do battle and perhaps do his bidding, do the dirty work while he, oh wait, there he is sitting on the outside, perhaps uh, partaking in a lovely beverage, that the, one of the beverage, fine beverages that this fine venue has to offer here. Another arm drag by Cosmo Orion. Wait a minute, blocked by Gimo Kaminari in a arm drag of his own, charging into the corner. All right, able to evade him. Now going on the offensive. Perhaps Gimo a little too aggressive, and now Orion hits a bulldog going for the cover. Wait a minute, Aiden now. Wisely the veteran breaking things up. Aiden Cole, of course. Not only is the Arizona Wrestling Federation going on 10 years, but Aiden Cole, just about a almost a 10-year veteran here. I want to say maybe about nine years. Of course, won the first ever AWF Wildcard Rumble, which we'll see later this year. This year's rendition of the AWF Wildcard Rumble should be in Phoenix, Arizona this May. Date to be determined. Stay tuned to ArizonaWrestlingFederation.com. It'll be at the Phoenix Beer Company. This is where we are presuming it will be. Wait a minute. Jibo now. Whoa. Forcing me to go a little Greg Brady with a dive to the outside. Didn't see that one coming. All right. Getting Aiden Colt back into the ring now. This youngster means business. I'm impressed here so far with Jimo Kaminari. Again, making his AWF debut, as is Cosmo Orion here at the New Year's Showdown. I think that might have kicked a tooth or two out of Aiden Colt's mouth there. Just a two count. Gmo wise to get right on the cover, especially with a crafty veteran such as Aiden Cole. Aiden Cole has been a two-time, of course, two-time AWF Tag Team Champion. I said, oh, what was that? Well, perhaps that wasn't. Perhaps that was gum, but can't be quite too sanitary to put that back into your mouth, ain't it? Nonetheless, personal judgment aside, what seems to be going on here. Gmo now working, standing on the legs, pinning. Aiden Colt now, and almost trying to get him up into a surfboard. Wait a minute, Cosmo Orion now helping him out, and oh, a big chop to Aiden Colt. Off the ropes, oh, and a bulldog to Aiden Colt for his trouble. Orion seemed to be seeming to be a big fan of those bulldogs here. 
Sounds like it's a big part of his repertoire. Wait a minute, it almost seems as if they're acting as a tag team in a big splash from Gmo Kaminari. Oh, wait a minute. The teamwork ends today because, whoa, thought I might have snuck in a three count there, but just a two. Orion rolls him up from behind, seeming to be working as a function, as a unit, however. Looks like Cosmo Orion just reminding him that it is every man for itself and a triple threat. Again, first man to score a pinfall, victory, submission, anything along those lines. Will be the victor here, and there can only be one victor, so... I'm not sure if Gmo happened to take exception to Orion trying to, to, attempting to roll up, but now both men striking each other back and forth. Striking to the face, neck, and shoulder region. Oh, a big kick to the midsection there by Kaminari, and Aiden Cold now just balls through him. Seems like any time one of these youngsters is just the slightest bit distracted, Aiden Cold's been there to, to capitalize. Now going for a, an atomic drop, followed up by a reverse atomic drop, able to hit both of them. Hangs on to Gmo, Aiden Cole for a trifecta. Oh! Tried for a big clothesline, but Gmo able to counter with a, a sort of Inseguri variation. Now both men put an Aiden to the ropes. Oh, both of them telegraphed it though. Aiden able to easily take advantage and DDT Orion. Oh, and a big standing shooting star for us from Gmo Cabanari. Could that be it too? And did he get it? No, just the two counts. Referee Vicky Grins going in for the cover again. Referee of record. Just a two count there on Aiden Cole. May have waited just a tad too long to Gmo Cabanari. Otherwise, he may have been able to take advantage of hitting that, that sort of running, standing, shooting star press. But Colt able to kick out too. Now he's back on to Orion. AW Fan Nation definitely feeling the energy as we're here on the first event of 2023 AWF New Year's Showdown. Wait a minute, it looks like whipped him into the corner. Whipped him going to a roll up pin. No, no, he catapults him into a lariat. Aiden Cold able to catch. Oh, there's a low blow. Throw out the match. Throw out the match, Vic. Wait a minute. Wait, did the referee see that? Hold on. Cold just hit a pedigree, but he's. It's too little, too late. All right, well, I guess there's a victory, a blatant low blow. That's probably what did in Kaminari. But Aiden Colt now able to, to still be victorious. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is AEW New Year's Show, and I'm Gabriel Landers. Aiden Colt, your winner of the first contest. We'll be right back with some more great AWF action here on the Arizona Wrestling Federation on YouTube.